Hello. <laughs> Today we're making French crepes. Daniel is going to mix it. We will show you how to make French crepes without getting lumps in your crepe mixture. And we're going to turn it into a dessert with Nutella, strawberry jam, fresh raspberries, ice cream and chocolate sauce. We will make our own chocolate sauce, really easy. We'll show you how to do that too. And we will start with mixing the crepe mix. Okay. So we have two cups of all-purpose flour. And with that all-purpose flour, we want to make a well in the middle of our mixture. And Danny will make a well, usually by just whisking and then making a well in the center and pushing most of the flour to the outside. We're also adding a pinch of salt. We're not adding any sugar to this crepe mix because most of the time crepes used as a dessert or some people have it for breakfast, the fillings are sweet enough. And if you don't use the sugar, you can also use them for savory items. So we're also adding now three cups of whole milk and into the center the well. and Daniel's going to start whisking right in the middle of the bowl and he'll whisk in small circles and do that gently and continue to whisk in the center bringing the flour from the outside as it breaks away and into fine powder and you don't end up with any lumps. We're also adding one half cup of water As Daniel continues to whisk, we'll add one egg at a time. And we're adding four whole eggs. We'll add our fourth whole egg. And you want to just whisk in the center quite fast. And what will happen is your, your moisture in your liquid will bring the flour away from the sides as it goes around. You can change direction. And then you just make slightly bigger circles working your whisk to the outside to pick up the flour that's on the edge. And you keep doing that until all the flour that's stuck on the edge is not there anymore. Does it look done? Yeah, I think it's done. Yeah. Yeah, so all the flour has come away from the bowl. A good trick to use is just to take a tablespoon and just run the tablespoon and use the back of the spoon. And you can, if there's any lumps in there, they're gonna show up and they'll stick to your spoon. But it looks pretty good. This mixture, it may look wet, but that's what we're after. We don't want anything thick that's gonna make pancakes or like English pikelets. We just want a nice um, liquid. And with this ratio of four eggs and the recipe, they're just gonna work great. With our crepe mixture, we did not add any melted butter to our mixture. Some people do, and it helps it not stick to the pan. Instead, we're using vegetable oil. Good trick is to take some paper towel. We just have three sheets that you fold together and fold it up into a book so it's something big enough to manage and dip it in some oil. Just vegetable oil, the avocado oil that we're using. Between every crepe, you just want to wipe the pan surface to put a really thin layer of oil on. And you can leave it in there. And then we start cooking the crepes and Daniel will show you how to do that. You need to take a half a ladle and and then start pouring it in and then do it around in circles so it evens out and then you can give it a bit of a shake And 
and you need to wait till the white mixture gets yellow like this and once it's done we're going to put the spatula under and take it and then flip it. And we're using a, a electric stove top that's like a medium to low heat but hot enough to make that mixture sizzle to let it brown when it cooks. What we do too is cover a plate with plastic wrap and that'll stop your first crepe from sticking to the plate and then you can always save that first one you put on there. And then you just transfer it from the pan to the plate. Return to the stove and do another one. Yeah. With the oil. Don't, don't oil. forget the oil. Just wipe it. Yeah. A little bit less. Make sure it's half a ladle. It's about three ounces of liquid. It's a six ounce ladle. And then roll it around your pan until it's nice and even. Yep. And like Daniel says, you can put it on the stove and give it a bit of a shake to flatten it out. Open. This beautiful color on it. And you don't you don't need to spend a lot of time doing the other side. Just to sear it, it's non-stick, and we transfer it again to the plate. And they stack on top of each other because they're cool in between cooking each one of them. For the chocolate sauce for the crepe dessert, we're just going to make our own chocolate sauce. Super easy. Ratio is one to one. So we have 150 grams of fresh cream, whipping cream, and we have 150 grams of dark chocolate chips. And you can use any chocolate that whatever you prefer, a bit of dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. Um, and we need to boil the cream first and Daniel will do that and then mix it into the chocolate chips. Boil cream and stir it in and create our chocolate sauce and we'll show you that. And we're going to bring the cream to a boil. We add the boiling cream to the chocolate and stir the chocolate and let it melt. Is it supposed to look like this day? Yep, perfect. Fresh chocolate sauce. Just transferring it to a squeeze bottle so it's easier to apply for our dessert. And good to store it in. You can refrigerate it. Um, and then when you need it, you can just microwave it, it'll soften up. We cooked our crepes. <clears throat> the recipe, we made 14 crepes with them. What we're gonna do is take two crepes, lay them down so their color side goes down, and we're gonna overlap them halfway. Then we're gonna spread Nutella and strawberry jam inside. Then you're gonna do the Nutella. And we just spread it either side of center. You know, people enjoy just jam or Nutella on a crepe for breakfast. They roll it up and enjoy that. <clears throat> then we're just going to take the the back of the crepe and fold it 
into the center and then roll it up kind of as tight as you can. And this allows you to make a long enough crepe to turn it and make a nice circle for your dessert. You can tuck the egg, tuck the corner underneath and it'll keep it as a center dessert. Then we're going to add our ice cream. And we'll decorate it with our raspberries, chocolate sauce and mint. And Daniel's going to finish it off for us. So we're putting our ice cream in the center and our raspberries around the ice cream at first. You can use a selection of different berries, whatever you like. Just make it look uniform and nice. And we drizzle it with chocolate. And that's our homemade chocolate sauce that we used. You can just trellis it over the top. We'll dust it with our icing sugar. Okay. And then finish it with our fresh mint. And that's just a really attractive, simple dessert. The kids can cook the crepes on their own.